Studio STL is presented by Mattress Direct. Shop local and you'll get more mattress for your money at Mattress Direct. Good afternoon, St. Louis, and welcome to Studio STL presented by Mattress Direct. I'm your host, Chelsea Haynes, and even though summer is gone, that means we can still bring in fall with lots of colors on our plate. We have the STL Veg Girl here with us in the house. Karen, it smells amazing in this kitchen. <laughs> What are we making today? It's fall cooking at its finest, Chelsea. It. So you know how usually with um, with uh, winter squashes, so especially mm -hmm. butternut squash, we usually blend it in a soup or roast it. Have you ever used it as a spread? Oh, no, I have not. No, There's have a first not. time for everything. <laughs> it's such a fun way to use butternut squash, any of the squash, squashes, actually. So what we have here is... I've been told to Yeah, we're gonna add a little bit of water squash, just so we don't dry out. Now that it. is just cubed butternut squash that has been steamed and now we're just, um, it, after you steam it, just mash it down and add a little bit of maple Ooh, syrup. Making a little sweet there. That's love right. It, love it. So you're gonna create just like a paste mm -hmm. or a base for our bruschetta. We're making a winter bruschetta or oh, a fall bruschetta amazing. actually, either one. Right here, I have caramelized onions that I've just done in a dry pan. You know that I love to do my dry saute. You do. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. And the dry saute, for those of you that don't know, it's just a saute without any oil. You're just sauteing with literally water. That is exactly, exactly Look it. At and me. I don't, you see, I know. <laughs> the grasshopper. A, a true student, a true student. Thank you, Sensei, thank you. <laughs> And all these greens, as all greens do, have so much water in them, mm -hmm. so they'll turn bright green when added to heat. They'll turn bright green, as they already have just in these last couple of seconds, and they'll release their water, becoming very soft and a lot more palatable for people who maybe don't really want to add too many greens, greens to their plate yeah. because they find that they're too fibrous or too bitter. Steaming, roasting, braising your kale or any greens is a great way to get that in. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little, you're doing a great job. Okay, so well, what we're gonna you. add to yours is if you wanna add a little bit of cinnamon. Okay. And I know how you love your heat. I do. This is heat, that's your peppers. Oh. Add your peppers to that as well. So we got the sweet heat. Yep. And then I know you love peas also. <laughs> <laughs> The I, shade. <laughs> you know you love your peas. You I love mushy love. peas. Well, but you know what we're gonna do here? Are we is gonna mush them? You can't. You don't have to. But I'm gonna add. I'm gonna mash up some of these. Okay, I like. I like that. Yeah. Okay, and then to my side, I'm also gonna add some thyme, and it can be fresh, it can be dried, whatever you have on hand. Just put that right in there, so you've got your flavors, okay. your fragrance, my flavors, my fragrance. We are gonna put it all together. So what you do now is you take some of your butternut squash, that's okay. right, and put it right on top. A little paste. Mm -hmm. oh, I bet this is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna turn off your heat so we don't burn you. Yeah, I feel the heat. Yeah, I know, <laughs> baby, I know. I'm gonna turn off my heat because I'm finished also. And then so on top of what you have going on, because it's nice and soft and a little bit sticky too, which is exactly what we want, I'm gonna take this and add our greens right on, on top. top. Oh, yeah, so our yum. caramelized onion, a little bit of kale, those yummy roasted, well, I should say sauteed peas. We've got our... Here with we'll a then, Oh, that looks amazing. And Here's then another one. at the very end, and I'm gonna have you do the honors. Oh, well, thank you. That the sous is chef is getting her, <laughs> her time to shine today. Oh, look at that drizzle. I'll that go ahead and do the is whole a balsamic reduction that we have there. And that finishes it off. If you want to add a little bit of crunch, mm -hmm. there are some sunflower seeds right in front of you. Oh, I bet and that is just, phenomenal. I know, this stuff is so good. It makes it, makes it such, it's a nice little um, presentation if you're having friends over. So for a dinner party to start off like this. And it's all plant-based. Of course, it's all plant-based, no oil, full of fiber. It's and healthy and I'm sure it's filling. And you can use this not only as an app, but you can eat this as a whole meal. There you go. And I a lot of people get a little worried about um, the winter squashes because mm -hmm. they are more dense and they think that they have more sugar in them. But because there's so much fiber in them also, it, it really does out. balance out that blood sugar. Make sure you don't have that blood spike. Mm -hmm. So it's a really fantastic, vegetable or just plant to eat 
every day of the week. Well, I feel like very accomplished. I made a plant-based I mean, bruschetta. I mean, you just made our lunch. And I'm also making a mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, Karen, thank you so much. And if people are at home, they're interested in maybe getting some more of your techniques in the kitchen, whether it's how to dry saute or even learning some new recipes that are plant-based, where can they go to find you? You can go to cpbl-stl.com, and we have a cooking class coming up this Saturday at noon, including this recipe, and we're talking all things winter squash. Oh, well, thank you so much for my tutorial. I appreciate it in St. Louis, and we encourage you to check out that class. You can head online to her website. While you do that, we'll get you up to date and caught up on your news headlines. Just send it to the inside of our studio with news anchor Kim Hudson.